Hello, I'm Shelly Ann Rothis, and I'm a different kind of victim. Today, I'm going to be discussing the situation that happened and why I had to delete two of the videos that I had put up. I had to delete them because my private information was exposed to the bullying plan that people asked me to help them with. So, you wouldn't believe who exposed me in my privacy and my personal information. The one person I never thought would ever do something like that. Yeah. I had a private chat group where I kept my personal information and whatnot. And this was during the time I was trying to escape my abusers. And the one person in that group that I had trusted at the time he ended up inviting people from the bullying clan that bullied me for years into that group where they could see all that personal information. Now, what was the reason? Well, as I had talked about bullying and I was in a bullying situation and I was being bullied, he ended up, you know, being lied to in the first incident with the bullying and believed those lies as I had discussed. And again, this situation, he ended up believing the lies. And again, Ken, I did not share any of your personal information <laughs> with anybody. I have not given out your address to people and whatnot. But you ended up inviting people into my personal group that had personal information on me. So, I mean, what personal integrity does that take? You know, I mean, communication is key, you know, and he didn't even have the decency to come and talk to me to see what was going on. He just assumed what the head bully said is true. <laughs> and he lied about not being in that clan. So how else would he find out this information? Oh, well, of course he was in that bullying clan and I know he was. And I know he was in another hate group where they were talking about me. <laughs> That's right. So, what happened this time? Again, people had come to me for help. And in the beginning, you know, people were still talking about me. And like I said, I hadn't been in that group in like ages. And all of a sudden, people are saying I'm doing certain things. I'm like, what? <laughs> And I also had seen people, you know, were going to other people saying this and that. And then all of a sudden, Unshorn Contasanova ends up blocking me. You know, after I find out that these rumors and the lies are going around. And then also another friend blocked me too. Because they believed the lies. Well, when... Well, actually, more than one person had come to me and asked me to expose the head bully, Pootie Lube, because they themselves were being attacked. Well, you know what? Being the bigger person is definitely hard. My lesson learned, yeah, it's very hard to be the bigger person, but there's times where you can step back because those people that are asking you to help you what makes you think that they're going to be there for you when you need them? Now, that's where borders come in. Boundaries, your borders. So, the people, those same exact people that asked me to help them, basically ended up turning on me in the end. You know, and just, they either ran away, or who knows what. But they also disappeared after I did what they asked me to do in helping them. So it ends up, my lesson learned is only help people that will be there for you too. That was always a huge mistake in my life is that I was always there for people. And many times, almost every single time, they were never there for me in any way whatsoever. So my lesson learned is don't give yourself all the time to people unless they're going to do the same for you in return. 
that's another topic and that's boundaries so yes i was being the bigger person and i do hope that this what i learned from this experience is going to help others as in bullying and understanding it that was one reason why i did step in and try to help because i actually wanted to see what I went through and really capture everything this time. And I did actually see a lot and I actually did learn a lot based on bullying and seeing how it works. I really watched every single step of what everybody did, you know? I mean, sadly, the one person I thought would never do certain things ended up doing it. So again, I feel extremely hurt and disappointed that this person actually did something like that. I actually feel really stupid because I never that I know that they've done a lot of bad stuff to me already, but the one thing I trusted them still on they went down the drain. I mean, the one thing I never ever thought they would do. So anyways, bullying, it is a huge problem as you could see. I mean, look what happened to me again. <laughs> so to that bullying clan and all those people that, you know, say they're my friend and they need my help, next time I'm not helping in. any of those people that were ever a part of that clan. Keep me out of your drama and your hate group. I don't want nothing to do with it anymore. And I haven't wanted anything to do with it for over six months. Because, you know what? After I left that group, my life changed. I don't want to be a part of anybody's hate group. I want to live my life. I want to have good things happening to me. Productive. I don't want to be in a, as my friend says, I don't want to be in a, you know, mother's basement with Cheetos and shirt on it. Like those people in those groups and those clans trying to harm other people you know, for enjoyment. That's what they're doing in those clans. You know? You know, so keep eating your sharp filled Cheetos and keep me out of your crap because I don't want to be involved in that. I'm trying to be a better person and I don't want to be involved in that types of stuff. I find it despicable and that's why I left it. And I actually can be the person that I want to be now and actually look in the mirror and be proud of who I am. And like I said, I really hope that others that have seen what has happened to me and what I've discussed so far can actually see that those types of groups can actually change who you are as a person. You know, and I actually seen it change that one person that I had looked up to highly in so many ways. I mean, I'll be honest, <laughs> my first impression of unshorn I'll say wizard was that he was a dork <laughs> you know I mean a very friendly dork <laughs> but he turned into an asshole I mean the one thing I never thought that he was I never thought that he was an asshole but I guess so you know hey words and actions change so quickly so I hope that others can learn from what I've experienced and I'll be discussing more about this in other partakes as for now I've had a very stressful day especially well past few days the <laughs> past couple weeks or few weeks with all this crap but I will see you next time I'm Shelly Rothis, and I'm a different kind of victim. See you next time.